Wicked Sister is a premium dessert brand that is stocked in major retailers across Australia. Founder Paul Polly came up with the concept after eating a homemade rice pudding in a sandwich shop. Eating that rice pudding, take, that rice pudding then taking me back to my childhood, um, to then going to look for it in grocery. So that, that in itself was my light bulb moment. He invested in a small facility in Bankstown and began making his own rice pudding with this pot and spoon. It was 10 years ago, so we've, we've grown the business from a 40 litre pot and spoon to what it is today. That's literally my first order for Woolworths went out in that pot. Fantastic. So I, I wouldn't like to go back in. <laughs> With PDP Fine Foods rapidly growing, the manufacturer turned to RMR Process to help scale up its business. So when we first met Paul and his team at Wicked Sister, they were operating out of a small business unit in Bankstown. They really were backs to the wall. They were operating 24-7. They couldn't produce another cup of product. Uh, the, the pressure really was to find a way very quickly to, to grow volume. RMR Process has developed a model to help Australian food manufacturers scale up efficiently and reduce capital costs. The Melbourne-based company helped PDP Fine Foods find a bigger, more suitable site and convert it into a high-tech facility. We helped them look for another facility. Uh, we then set about putting our scaling model into practice for them. So spending money on the things, on the essential things that they needed. To, uh, to, to get their volume up as quickly as we possibly could. Yeah, so what we're looking to do with the back-end automation is to bring in some high-speed packaging equipment to sit in here. PDP Fine Foods also invested heavily in automation. Automation has helped us scale from what we previously did, uh, which is roughly around 12 to 13 tonnes a week, to now producing um, 18 to 20 tonnes per day. Does automation necessarily mean job losses? We don't believe automation means job losses. We think it's quite the opposite. We believe that if you've got a robust automation strategy in place, it will strengthen your business. It will help you scale volume. So with automation, we're not talking about marching robots through the front door and operational staff out the back door. We're just talking about a level of smarts that enables the processes to be more accurate, whereby minimising waste and assisting them with uh, removing repetitive time-consuming tasks. What we've been able to do is keep our, our number of employees by scaling up with our output in, in capacity. Valley Harvest Group is a newly formed company that produces juices and fruit pieces from 100% Australian-made products. RMR was the missing link for our project because we really had uh, the need to work uh, and expand our business from small production levels and Peter's experience in that space has been really valuable for us. RMR Process has taken its model to the farm gate, working with agricultural supplies to develop world-class automated facilities. It's also committed to sustainable practices by reducing the footprint of food processing and minimising wastage. We saw a lot of waste in the fruit and vegetable supply chain. In consultation with RMR Process, Valley Harvest Group has been working with Australian growers to set up and value add their products. Why is this good from a waste and environment perspective? Well, there's a number of aspects. First off, we can add value to the farmers' enterprises, which is important, and there's a flow-on effect in the local communities. Um, we're also processing the fruit and vegetables close to source, so we can get the best quality and the best nutritional value by doing it that way. It's hugely important for the food industry to collaborate. It's something we don't do very well at the moment. We need to get much, much better at it. We liken it to having a, a jigsaw without the box with the picture on it at the moment. And we know in Australia we have some very talented people, some great people with great ideas. The technology mostly is here already in Australia. RMR believe collaboration across industries such as food and agriculture is vital for building a sustainable future. It's just a matter of getting all of those people and ideas and technology in the right place at the right time. We feel at the moment that we've just got that box to the lid for the jigsaw puzzle.